obviously uh, a huge thank you um, to all of you uh, for the invite to the interview today. Um, it really is uh, such an honor, you know, uh, because when I think San Damia, uh, I had previous thoughts in me before we shot, and that was just of a very, very uh, beautiful family holidays and fun times and this amazing place. And now when I think San Damia, I think family because of the way we were welcomed with open arms uh, into the place. So just a huge thank you uh, for the opportunity to be able to speak about our experience there. When the idea for a third film hit, um, we knew that somehow we would have to outdo the first two films, you know, for our fans more than anything for us as filmmakers, but for our fans, you know, we wanted them to watch something that they will think, oh, did you see that scene? And did you see this? And so we knew from a visual perspective, we wanted to give them an absolute feast. And when we thought family holiday, I must say, immediately San Lamia jumped into my mind. So the creative process actually was driven by my holidays at San Lamia and knowing the various locations and then letting everything fit together into a beautiful story. I think it's quite pioneering to a certain extent to have got permission from a residential community to shoot in the residential community. Jaleen, maybe, you know, once they were, once you were approached by production, were you sort of a little bit taken back or did your, did the team immediately see the, the opportunity about, of shooting on location at San Lemire? Absolutely. We were keen and excited to, to be on board. So, but obviously we, I needed to, from a marketing point of view to go, I had, I had to go through a few processes when it comes to the homeowners association, management, board of our directors, etc. So I had to follow that and I think it was quite a process for a few weeks back and forth and, you know, to make sure that the Kanasami team is, is welcomed and happy and, and um, you know, also so that they're comfortable shooting on this, that feeling secure, etc. And then the same, you know, being our residents and management. So um, it was definitely, I don't think I could say it was a challenge, but it you you just have to plan properly and i think it was worth it um i would do it again um, and jane how big was your team that you took down to san lemire the crew uh okay so our crew was roughly um 45 people um who were on san lemire all, all the time and our cast was nine people, nine, nine nine people that were with us for the 18 days we were at San Lumia. And whenever we needed extras, um, obviously because of COVID, we couldn't, it was a closed set and, and we couldn't have people uh, coming in and out. So we'd call on Yolanda to say, can you please organize us two residents to be at the pool area and a few people at the golf. And, and yeah, it, it actually just worked like a dream, um, really, because uh, we were constantly being stopped by residents saying, where are you shooting tomorrow? Don't you need us to come and, 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 and help? And don't you? So we were, we were never short of, of having people there, even though, you know, it was COVID and we couldn't bring in extra people. Um, but yeah, so we were almost like almost 60 people just moving around at a time. When you originally were planning the third installment, were you already looking at Netflix as one of your distribution channels? So Netflix was actually an absolute dream come true because it would mean you would be able to distribute your film on the same day to 190 countries. Uh, that's almost the whole world, <laughs> you know. So it's incredible. that's always it is incredible. It's, it was always a dream. Um, you know, they are the largest streaming service in the world. And when they approached me, I must say, I just sat back and I thought, oh my word, we might actually have this opportunity to to have a worldwide release. What has the marketing benefits been for the estate from a marketing perspective? Showcasing our brand through the kind of song we form was the best decision ever. I mean, we had direct return on investment with the movie being released that Friday. I think it was the 4th of June. Jane, am I correct? Yes, you are. <laughs> I would never forget that date. And then we were very excited. Um, that Monday morning, we had people phoning 
wanting to book the specific villa of the kind of songs. Would you say that filming within San Lemire was more challenging than another location? Well, I think the, the first thing that I'd like to say is that it's all about having mutual respect. So it was us respecting the fact that we were in this uh, estate, that there were people living on this estate, that there were people holidaying on this estate, and yet they gave us permission uh, to come through and shoot. So it was the respect from our side. And then it was the respect from uh, San Lamia and the, the, the entire team uh, at the villas, you know, that just knew we were making a film and would give us their absolute everything, no matter what we asked for them. And I think this sort of teamwork where we all just came together made it possible. Having everybody in the same place for 18 days was incredible. But also just being together with the San Lamia staff helped because we became like a family where we could call on anyone at any time and we knew that, you know what, we're all going to get through these 18 days and we're going to do it. Now that we've all fallen in love with the Kandasami family, where, which is the next adventure that the family will be taking us on? I'll try not to ask exactly the same question as everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we've even started thinking about that. You know, we haven't let our minds go there because right now we're just enjoying the success of the third film. Um, you know, it's just been so heartwarming receiving messages from people all over the world just saying, oh, we watched the Kandasamis, where can we get find the first one now? And, you know, we love this family. So I really don't know. I wish I had an answer for you. I wish I had an answer for myself, <laughs> you know, um, where to from here. But um, I think wherever we do go from here, it's always going to be South Africa's favorite family.